come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. These are the internet radio superstars. Sean. Michaela. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by. Holly. Hi. Hi. What did we watch tonight? (laughs) Uh, Tonight we watched a movie called Eyes of Fire. Okay. Eyes of Fire. From the year. Deep dive. This is a deep dive. This you is pull a deep back, dive. Or reach is, in, and yeah, yeah. They were reaching in that tree and pulled this out. Yeah, this is, it's out there. Um, so, you think Ernest Scared Stupid saw this movie? Yeah, I think several people <laughs> saw this movie. The Village. I was gonna say, yeah, I was, saw I was this like, movie. if we're if we want to jump into it right now, we can go The Village, The Witch, Ernest Scared Stupid. There's yeah. multiple. Which finder? Which finder? <laughs> uh, the year this was, um, yes. I believe it was made in '83, released in '84, but okay. there's some conflict about that either or yeah it works um directed by um avery crounce mm-hmm. do we know anything about avery crounce avery has he done did, work before i know one movie he did three movies he did um he did the invisible kid yep and uh another one called Sister Island or Cries of Silence, depending on... I've seen that poster which, before. Yeah, I feel like oh I've seen God. The Invisible yeah. Kid. The yeah. Invisible Kid is probably the yeah. one that you've Yo, maybe boy. heard of. That feels like that might be future freak show material just based well, on that, that well, poster. I, that's what I was thinking, yeah. too, because Grover says he's doing it all for science, but every girl in school can see right through him. Uh, <laughs> boy. So it's a high schooler uh, who discovers sex the formula comedy, for, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. for invisibility. <laughs> he's definitely going in the girl's shower. Is this shower. like the prequel to Hollow Man? <laughs> this is the Hollow Man the teen years? <laughs> oh, no. He doesn't commit any rape in this one. He just peeps. Yeah, he's just a peeping Tom in this one because he's a like teenager. How teen oh. Wolf is like the Wolf Man. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he's Same the thing. teen invisible. Invisible man, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, with Karen Black as mom. What? Yes. Okay. Karen here. Black is in her it. piercing eyes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this was Eyes of Fire was his first movie. This is his first movie. Yeah. Um, but there is an alternate version of this movie mm-hmm. called Cry Blue Sky, which was the original title that it was, was filmed under. Yes. What's the differences? Honestly, the difference is the uh, it's it's a little minutes. it's a little longer, but like. The weird shit is is cut way down. Hmm. Wait, mm. so this is the weird shit version that we watched? Yeah. Right? Okay. Yes. This is a brisk 88-minute movie. It is. It is. Uh, yeah. That version is out there. Uh, Severn released this on 4K. Yeah, yes. really? Did yeah, they no, really? They did a, God bless them. Yeah, they did yeah. A, a big box set yeah. um, uh-huh. of folk horror movies. And it was called uh, All the Haunts Be Ours. Oh, is that what that And it had was in that? like 20 yes. odd movies oh, from around the world. I think this was the I one that represented the USA because they're all oh. like from oh, different great. countries. Boy. Yeah, that's Missouri. Yeah. disappointing. <laughs> well, it had been. Uh, so this is actually a third time I've seen this movie in my is life. Really? Wow. wow. Yes, because wow. I remember reading a magazine way back in the prehistoric era and it was called Video Informer. And Video Informer Ooh. talked about vhs and vcrs and the technology and everything that's coming out but it would have a review section of all the tapes that were coming out that week and i remember see this must have been like 87 because i remember it seems to me like nightmare on elm street 3 was the one review i wanted to read but next to it was eyes of fire Mm -hmm. and i'm like okay so what is so that was the first time i'd ever heard of it and it seems to me it was several years later i saw it on vhs and then you know it like that was it. I mean, like it was forgotten. Yeah. No one. I don't think it came out um, on DVD. No, they said it was scantily available for a long time. Yeah. I think the Severn release yep. is yeah. the, and now it's on streaming. We watched it tonight on Shutter, so it mm-hmm. is widely available now. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, rescued from obscurity. Yeah, what a what a time to be alive. I love that. <laughs> don't you guys like? I hope that that's our legacy at some point. Is that we can discovered our own Miami connection, <laughs> uh, you know, our own hard ticket to Hawaii, just like lost to time that we get lucky buying on eBay and discover a hidden gem. I really hope that yeah. happens for us. Yeah, because I mean, mm. I guess the the original, you know, materials must be still somewhere available. Right. Probably uh, the director's well, yeah, the, private collection. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, Cry Blue Sky, the original cut of this um, was restored from his 
from his own I love it. Copy. Yeah, and that's yeah. like a special, millimeter. it's a special feature, I think, yeah. on the disc. So yeah. we, none of us have seen that version. No. no, from what I understand, like I said, like the supernatural stuff is cut way down and there's more character development. And I was like, well, I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. he, said, he said he cut this down to something that didn't quite make sense, but they did it for money reasons. He said people love the other cut or some people love the mm. other cut. Yeah, so it's the slower, more character-driven version, and this is the amped-up version. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Um, it's a it's a strange movie. Is it? Deep. Um, <laughs> you know, like it, because I, I don't know. Have I, you know? I guess I'm like, have I seen anything like it? It's a genre of American folk horror. Have you made anything like it? Yeah. 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 Okay. His <laughs> location is luck. <laughs> Oddly similar. Uh, yeah, because I think the time period, it's cool for a horror movie, I guess. Colin like made the opening like, 10 minutes of this movie. <laughs> but I didn't, I hadn't seen, well, I guess I had, so maybe well, it's subconsciously uh, inspired. Lies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, folk horror. What's a folk horror movie? <sighs> the Devil. The devil. Usually. Usually a hairy devil. Oh, usually uh, furry. Yeah, the dairy was uh, the devil was a lot hairier back then. Yeah, a bit more yeah. goat like. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of times when you con- when you consider folk horror, you're thinking like colonial America. Yeah, right. In, a, uh, in an earlier yeah. time, and it's usually like the horrors of being ostracized from your community, right? Because right. like it's so much dependent on survival, right? Yeah. So yes. like it's what what sort of like blame is going to be be put at your feet that's going to ostracize you right. from your community. Yeah. You know? It's always going to be some sort of, like you said, the devil and witchcraft. Yeah, yeah. religious witchcraft. Yeah. Yeah. Something along those lines. Some belief yep. that okay. something is going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I guess, obviously, the collection uh, from Severn is like, well, it exists around the world, and there's different examples of it. Um, you know, we said Pumpkinhead earlier yeah. is kind of mm-hmm. like an American folk horror yes. movie that doesn't take place in... <clears throat> Uh, the past, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. yeah, it's like uh, backwoods mysticism and you know witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Usually, always witchcraft. Right? Mm-hmm. Always. I mean, that's, that's what word. they did back then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just accused people of being. She's a witch. A witch. Yeah. <laughs> that happens real quick a couple yeah. times in this movie. We can't explain it, witch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. The hair trigger. Right. I off love the bat. how witch. you could spread a rumor and six people are dead. Like, right? like, yeah. like yeah. man, the crucible's real yeah. intense for that exact reason. Yeah. Like, well, who? Um, she drowned. I guess she wasn't. <laughs> yeah. a witch. And the guy who made this movie, I think I read he was a, a like an award winning still photographer. Yeah, no, that was his like main thing. Is he he was a very well known photographer. That makes sense. He's it's featured a in a lot movie. of different publications. Okay. Yeah. So like nature like his, photography. Yeah, or a like lot of some? different stuff. But yeah, he did a lot of nature photography. I mean, a lot, a lot of bog of the, witches. Uh, I, he a lot wasn't of bog he witches. wasn't credited as a cinematographer on no. the movie, but like I mean the some the. Photography looked good. Yeah, I thought yeah. for the time that it was made. Yeah, um, it doesn't feel like an '80s movie, does it? I yes mean, and no, because it could. You know, it's harder to pin those down when they're when they don't take place in a contemporary. Right. You know, yeah. so it's like you're looking at hairstyles or something to say like, what year was this made? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I guess actually the 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 visual effect uh, say, stuff like, is all very '80s, yeah, the, very much so, parts all the way this- down to the beards. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Did you have a problem with the with the beards? Oh, uh, just, just a little bit. The one dude's beard, Dalton's, was great. Loved it because that was real. But then uh, Jewel, who there is a there, there's a, a time shift at a certain point where I saw last Thanks. I saw Jewel, kind of close cropped hair, like baby face, and then we cut to him back to him, and this this guy just has a fucking beard and long hair, and he's just living in the mountains, like. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's like, but it's, it's not. It's like they just put a sticker on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it wasn't not the most good. convincing no, fake never, beard. Uh, it's like they used one of their extra pelts mm-hmm. and just glued it to his face. Something like that. <laughs> or there was a, a, um, a, 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 somebody was an Abe Lincoln impersonator at some point. Yeah. They right. stole that beard it's and put bad. it on. It's, it looks yeah. like Moe's from The Office. <laughs> it does, yeah, basically. Yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not great, but it's also the best. Yeah, oh, for sure, 100%. <laughs> just adds to the atmosphere of this movie. Well, I guess before we get into the movie itself, there were a couple people that I recognized in the cast really? uh, did, you, did you know any of them they look familiar yeah uh, so, Leah yeah look feels familiar like I've seen her before uh, that's Leah's what I was gonna look up Caroline Crockett Caroline Crockett yeah okay I'm Sean's a, looking up yeah I'm gonna look up some people Carleen. Carleen I recognize Crockett. Dennis Lipscomb who's like uh, Will, Will Smythe, Smythe the I, uh, reverend the reverend I like to hate this guy oh yeah, yeah. I was trying he to has, figure out yeah. he's perfectly cast yeah because I know he, he was in war games I remember but I can't remember anything else he was in but he's like in like every TV show that I watched, like in right. the eighties and nineties, yeah, yeah, every one he of them. He was in like everything, and he did a lot of um, Guy Boyd. 
plays Marion Dalton. Marian Dalton. You may know Guy Boyd. I don't know Guy Boyd. No. I don't know Guy Boyd. Mm-hmm. Between the lines. Do I know Guy Boyd? Ticket, ticket to Heaven, Only When I Laugh. He, he was in Ghost Story. Who? Guy Boyd? Guy Boyd. Eyes of Fire. He was in New Heart. Uh, body Double. Who? I was oh, say, Body he, Double. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I've seen it. I don't know who he was. He was in Luke. He's like a cameraman or something. Actually, yeah. wait a second. No Man's Land as Jaws. <laughs> he was in Miami Vice. I was gonna say that, Frank Hackman, you might yeah. know him from So all these guys say, are both accomplished Guy Boyd and, TV and actors. Dennis Lipscomb, they were in like lot of every TV, TV show. Yep. All right, well, the people, we're putting three people on the Saturday three? Night Free. Three? Uh, from this yeah, movie? From wow. this movie. Twa? That's, that's all right. Twa? <laughs> are you ready? Because some I, of them might know. blow your mind. Oh, okay, ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's Rob this. Paulson mm-hmm. is Rob in Paulson. this movie. Uh, he is Jewel, Jewel. Buchanan. Yeah. He was also a cameraman in Body Double, and oh. uh, he was a gas station attendant in the Julian Sands movie Warlock. However, Ron Brad Paulson went on to, if I am correct, he is the voice of Pinky. He's in the Pinky voice in the brain. He's really? the voice. He's the voice of all like. Every fucking cartoon. This dude has like six hundred credits. That's awesome. That's great. On IMDb, he was. He's, he's probably rich. He's literally in every. He voiced in every cartoon that we ever grew up. Raphael. With. That's awesome. Like, he, yeah. was Raphael. Yeah, he was Raphael. Yeah, he was Raphael. Yeah. He's Raphael. Yeah. He's Yakko. Yeah. yeah, he did That's cool. everything. Yeah, that's great. Uh, we've also got uh, the actor Will Hare. Now I, re- I did recognize oh. him. He plays Calvin, who meets his uh, maker early on in yeah, the movie. The one- the one did that you gets shot him? With yeah. the arrow on a on Oh, the yeah, him I know. Did you recognize him from... Uh, he, does he play a, a bum and, so, and something? Yes. What, what the fuck was that? Well, he oh, wasn't was a it, bum. No, what, was it, he wasn't in Berserker, was he? No. No. no <laughs> he is. Fucking Berserker. I'll never live it down. He, was he in a ninja movie? He was the grandfather who tells the story... At the beginning of Silent Night, Deadly Night. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, he wow. is the one who's comatose yeah. and then yes. wakes up and fucking... <laughs> oh, all right. But now yes. you're going to remember him also as soon as I tell you that he's Pa Peabody from Back to the Future. Old Man Peabody. Oh, Old Man Peabody okay. in his trees. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. The in the barn when they see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But I just watched that. Ironically, his wife, whose sister... Uh, in this movie, right, is Ivy Bethune. Yeah. And she was my Peabody in Back to the Future. Well, I'll be She's there. also in this. Wow. And she was also in Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, which we watched. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. yes we so are. there you go. <laughs> All did, right. So the certificates are in we the just summon, Wow. Did we just summon Brett? Brent. Yeah. We, I, think, I think we summoned Brent. We went right back to Back to the Future <laughs> with the very first episode of the Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, so there you go. It only took uh, <laughs> ten, 10 years <laughs> to put uh, the Peabody's on the, the Wall of Fame. Okay, so uh, the year is 1750. Yep. The mm. Frontier. Is it a Western? It uh, uh, Horror Western is what IMDb said. <laughs> I mean... A Western... I like, I like horror... F- Folklore better. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. Western. When you say Western, is, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. cowboys and six. Shooters. Like I see, yeah. I see what you're saying, right. but right. I like folklore. It is better. the Western frontier, but I would not call this a Western. Yeah, it's yeah. Missouri. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's no Westerns in Come Missouri. On. This is uh, this is a bog in Missouri. <laughs> right. Yeah, sorry, true. Long yeah. before the Declaration of Independence, so yeah, it's just the American territory. I think it said there's like yeah. the French territory and the so uh, and in. The in the Indian territory, mm-hmm. uh, what what's going on there? What's the drama that that sets up this movie? So we've got a little colony, just yep. little, this little village, yep. and there's a sketchy but, reverend. Yep, they've <laughs> recently acquired a preacher. Yeah, who, <laughs> his introduction in the movie. He has, just like he's just he's. It's it's like the Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Like, okay. like, like Burt Reynolds on a fucking bearskin mm-hmm. rug, right? Like, yeah, yeah. But this reverend just like laying in a bed with like a silk shirt on. Yeah, right? yeah. And he says, and he's got long hair. He's got long hair that's like tousled. It's sex hair. He has sex he, hair. He really Let's does. Let's be real. And he sits up and he's, found, he's like, I don't know what they're talking about. He's like, what are you he's talking about? Like, <laughs> coming to get him. He's basically like smoking a cigarette, like po- like post coitus. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I don't but, know what you're talking about. Yeah, but he's been a pan. People know that he has more than one woman in his house. Oh, yeah. House yeah, because he's taken in uh, Marion Dalton's wife. Yeah. Right. Because he's oh, like a he's fur just, trapper or he's, something. He's just a trapper. He's, he's gone just, a lot. He's just gone for work. He's a trucker who's just gone on the road. Yeah. yeah. He's just gone for work. Yeah. So now like, she's yeah. checking up <laughs> he's with providing. Her. And yeah. she's like, eh, I hate you. And she brought her daughter over, right? With Michael her. Sarah. Yep. 
And um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna call her Michael Sarah for the remainder yeah. of the show because she looks like Sean. Who does she look like? Oh, a combination of Jennifer Gray and Michael Sarah. Mm -hmm. And pushed together. That is perfect. It is. Like, it that's feels exactly very what she looks like. You so she did, is Michael Sarah. For did Michael Sarah show. like quit acting? No, uh, no, just, no, no. He's well, just hanging around. He was he, just in that Super Bowl commercial for Sarah V. Yeah, yeah for I, for I mean, that was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that was really funny. That's, but no, I think that's was, just what he's doing. No, I feel oh, no, like he's he was in, just in something. He is. Yeah. Oh, I remember the trailer. I forgot what it was, but yeah, he's in. He's something in a new comedy. Yeah, we really? got like a beard. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. What I talking about. I miss him. Bring him back. Like, oh, yeah. I, I love yeah. like Sarah. When it was like 2007, it was like three movies a year right? he was in. Yeah. Dude, like, Superman yeah. was great, right? I know. The movie cracked yeah. me up. But he, he was everywhere for like Juno? five yeah. to six years. He and did then, a ton yeah. of shit. And now he never has to work again. Yeah. He's just That's why I was like, I wouldn't blame like, him if he was just him. like, I'm good. Yeah. You know? He did that he year did, one movie. He's not That was a long anymore, time ago. Yeah. It was, but I wanted because the only reason I was going to bring it up is because that's the kind of the look they're not all winning oh the look like, it is the look. a little shorter like yes it is it, that, oh like, my god that's kind of what <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah michael Sarah. wait what is her character name in the movie um her name Eloise? no uh fanny fanny that is fanny Eloise is the wife fanny yeah uh Eloise who is wife. now shacked up with the uh, reverend yep and uh, well, Smythe. there's another uh, woman in his uh, house that he's taking care of and this is um what was her name? The the taking name. care of somebody. Yeah, wasn't he taking care of the girl who's Leah. Like, Leah, 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 Leah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Leah is uh like touched, touched, Leah. or she's a magical she, fairy she's creature. A feral child. She's a, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, feral it was we yeah. are introduced to her. She's a feral um, child. He's I taking care Michaela of her. I think Michaela related to her most. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, how, was, how would you describe uh, her, I, Michaela? <laughs> Uh, completely unexposed to the human condition. Like, yeah, no, that's solid. As no like dream baseline. I mean, she's like that because she hasn't had proper contact with other people, right? So that sounds that sounds cool. And that's like, part of it, here's right? The, here's and something thing, happened though. to her. But yeah. the thing is, like, she has, yeah, because. Like they say that they found her when she was like five, and this woman's like twenty five now. Like right, right. Yeah. right. Well, the, she's the, like thirty. The reverend yeah, says he get over it. So, the reverend yeah. says he saved her. Because her mother got burned alive. Yeah, he stake? makes it sound like like yep. I, I saved her and I tried to save the mother and then we find out later that no, he burned the mother. Yeah, yeah. 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 When we were As burning her yeah. mother, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, and then shit. he took yeah. the kid in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but still, yeah. like this was like twenty years ago, yeah. and yeah. she's still feral. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I am fascinated. She's, she's um, we, we've talked many times off mic about how I'm fascinated by that island. Um, out in Asia that has is completely untouched by modern society yeah. and they mm. kill anyone who tries to come to their island <laughs> yeah. and like they throw spears at planes and shit. Mm -hmm. I mean that's the ultimate like feral goals right there. You have a whole yeah. island that the world's <laughs> governments have agreed to not touch. Yeah. Like when Michaela, they worked out pretty well. When Michaela goes, she's gonna be gone. <laughs> we are no one will ever me. see yeah. her again. Yeah. Um, but I don't think even Toby's gonna be. No. Uh, this is gonna be her and her like dogs. Her and the dogs yes. left. Yeah, I don't yeah. know where they are. He's gonna think we went for a walk and <laughs> for a walk and check that. Right. Yeah, Michaela went for a pack of cigarettes and she never yeah, came back. Yeah. Uh, Leah is uh, very Nell. Yeah, no, she's a wood child. But yeah. This is where I was like the village. I was like, I'm not seen this she's movie. The, like, because Ivy that Walker. performance yeah, yeah. is very similar. No, yeah. yeah, between yeah, between the like curly red hair yes. and then also the forest creatures. Yes, right. I was like, mm -hmm. M Night Shyamalan has seen this movie and loves this movie. Yeah. yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. Mm -hmm. If he was able to find it, but maybe he's a you know. I think he, he did. looks at the for these yeah. types of movies. Um, he's probably friends with Avery. Mm -hmm. So they are well, cast well, out. Avery is or, or I guess they're not. Uh, oh, that's that's very sad. It's yeah, tragic. Avery Crowns, the director of this film, passed uh, a year ago. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh okay. So well, here we are uh, raising yeah. a glass. Yeah, I did check a few yeah. dates. <laughs> on so we've cast. watched his movie. Yeah. Uh, Just to be sure. Um. So they're cast out of town as uh, usually uh, tends the, to happen. No, but they're not really cast. That's the thing. Is they elect to go? They uh, the reverend. I, it, the reverend is one of is like classic manipulator. Yes, and I because he's like he's like I brothers and say. sisters. Like they try to hang him for one because yeah. they're like you're having an affair with half the village. We're gonna hang you. Yeah. So they try but to. He's hang. only having sex with the one guy's wife, right? right but it's just a, the one. He, they accuse him of being polyamorous and. Right. You know, he's yeah. an adulterer because she's still married. Right. Right. And yeah. I'm like, Everyone okay. else was going to get hung, like, too. Okay, like, he but was like, the first one. But, like, really, he's not married. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Right. I don't know. But, yeah, so they're going to hang him because, you know, sex is bad. And 
Nell saves him. Let Leah saves him. Yeah. Yeah. She saves him. She which... uses like a magic spell or something right. to break the hang rope at the moment that he's. Hung. And yeah. I have mm-hmm. to assume it's because he saved her. Right. Yeah. That's what we. That's what we are assuming. Yeah. Um, as far as she knows. And she's he's cared for. I guess he's a father figure. I guess. But, yeah. 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 Um. And then at this point, he's like, brothers and sisters, like, you've witnessed a miracle, but now I must leave you. And I wish you could come with me. <laughs> like, I mean, I, us. He does. He he's says like, that several times. He's like, yes. come with me. I mean, us. Come with us. I wish I could say that you were good people. Yeah. But you're not. Like, and now no, you he can't go no, with he's, good. He says, you're good people, but. Oh, I thought he, he said he, yeah, no, no, he's no, like, no, 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 you're he's, good he's people. Like, yeah. but, and I thought this was going to be the promised land. But now I have I to have leave to, you. I have to find the real we promised land. Have to leave. But you, you. can't come with me. Yeah, like, and sorry, they like, lock them in oh the God. shed and steal all their stuff. <laughs> and then they leave town. <laughs> Love it. They, they steal loot the, raft. the They loot the town. They steal the cows. They steal the, the ferry. Chickens. They steal yeah. the ferry. Yeah. yeah, that part feels very western. Like yeah. they're gonna yeah. lock oh, yeah. in here, just, ransack the whole town, and then right? then let you out. Yeah. yeah. And if you wanted to leave, you're just like we're just getting on the river. Wherever we end up. There you are. in it. Yep. Yeah. And so away down the river they go, yeah. uh, and but um, Fanny's father, right. Marion Marian. Dalton, yep. ends up. Marion Dalton is a great name, mm-hmm. right? It's like Marion Cobretti only. Yeah, well, not as great good as name. That, yeah. Not as good as Marion Cobretti, but it's a good Western name. Yeah. Just had uh, to bring up Cobra, didn't you? Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, that's, that's John Wayne's name. Cobra's been it in is. It's John lately, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. He's Marion. I need mm-hmm. to rewatch watch Cobra. Mm-hmm. Dal- Dalton. Who do we? But uh, Dalton from uh, what you call it? Roadhouse. 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 So yeah. Marion Dalton is just like know, oh, that yeah. is a good name. Yeah. It's like you're mashing two of the good ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I love a classic it. Western and, name. And what is he? This uh, the the manliest man in the frontier. He's like Jeremiah say. Johnson. But yes. 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 Yep. He's yep. very Jeremiah very Johnson. So. <laughs> he lives off the land. He knows all the customs. He is not phased. Yeah. Nothing yeah. phases this man. No. Yeah. So I think they're putting up a. Uh, this is going to be the central conflict of the movie, right? Is between the Reverend and he always always calling on a higher power to do stuff, mm-hmm. and Dalton, who's like the guy of the land, who's mm-hmm. like, I don't know if I believe that, but you know, yeah. But then you're going to put them into a supernatural situation. Mm-hmm. Um, so Dalton is hot on the trail, right? Tracking. Right. I love this because he he comes home with his his wares, you know, his pelts, mm-hmm. and. He's just like, fucks the fairy. And there's an old lady at the other side like, they stole the fairy. Like, who? Your wife? (laughs) (laughs) So away he goes canoeing down the river. And he's just like, he does. He goes, He's just like, come to this. Oh, okay, I, uh, Eloise. <laughs> so there's like a bunch of people on this raft, though. We got the and two a, old uh, folks. And a cart and a cow and chicken. Yeah. And a goat. Chickens, yeah. Yeah. There's a goat, yeah. There's yeah. at least two little children. Yeah. Um, uh, yep, at least two. There's two, yeah. Two little children. And then the older, the teenage. How the fuck old Fanny, is she? I don't know. Then, yeah, see, that's why I say yeah. I couldn't yeah. nail down Fanny, an age for anything. Fanny looks like the same age as her dad. I don't know. So <laughs> it's uh, Jewel and his wife, yeah, and it's their two, they have yep. a, their two well, kids. They have a daughter, and then um, yes. the two old people, the, the old woman and the old man, they have a granddaughter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then... Uh, um, Eloise, Eloise is hot for this reverend. Okay, there's like a million people on this raft, and it's very crowded with oh lots of God. stolen yeah. supplies, and they are all fucking over each other yeah. like, the whole time. Like, oh, she's yeah. in her underwear. They're going at it on the corner of the raft. Like, yeah, there is a heaving bosom or two in yeah, there. Yeah, heaving for sure. They have a very carnal relationship. Yes. Yeah. Too, so they are uh, hot Doesn't and heavy. seem very preacher-like, or no. is it very preacher-like? Mm. Yeah, good point. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. take that one, folks. Yeah. <laughs> so they uh, wanted. He's like, I know of sin. I've experienced it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to experience it in order to preach about it. So they wander yeah. into uh, Shawnee I've territory, done this so that you don't have to. And I'm here to show you the yeah, correct it's, way. It's they like, never. It's I, like the running gag in uh, Walk Hard. You don't want none of this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want none of this, do we? It's like by the end, it's just it's what uh, is it Viagra and like. An SSRA at the end of the movie. He's like, you don't want any of this. It- you don't want any of this. Yeah. Well, I guess the uh, the townspeople obviously think that this is like some, you know, this is a major uh, ungodly sin. Mm. He never explains his position on why this is okay under his it's man interpretation of, God. of to Yeah, exactly. They, what they say goes. Yep. Yeah. So um, they wander down the river and into Shawnee uh, Indian territory right, and, and come under attack. Right, they're attacked. There's oh yeah, they, old man gets it right in the 
Right in the solar plexus. The, an old lady gets a rock thrown in her hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do. They just throw everything and she gets rocked. Doom. Yeah. As, she does. Um, very fun. They die, but it's very yeah, funny. The old man does not leave his rocking chair. Nope. You yeah. know, right. Even in death. Can't be bothered. He's no. killed in his rocking chair. Yeah. Yep. Death. And they send him as a decoy down the river. Right. right. With dummies. With yeah. I thought that was kind of cool, though. I liked it. Yeah. Where yeah. did they get the dummies? Right. I think it's just out of straw or corn, something. It's corn husk dolls, but just bigger. Okay. Yeah. okay. Also, like, they can't afford to get rid of extra right. clothes. Yeah. This is what I was yeah. thinking. I'm like, there's. Uh, that's They're a literally whole wearing the fairy. same clothes for the rest of the movie yeah. because they gave their only other set of clothes to these dummies. Yeah, I think that's what happened. But uh, that's the trick that they're doing, right? They pull off the river. Right. Nobody saw him do it, and then they send the raft down with the dummies on there. Yep. And, and they, it's like our pursuers will keep following right. that. So I guess that works. Mm-hmm. I guess. So they wander through the woods, mm-hmm. and then they come upon a tree that is covered in feathers. Yes. Mm-hmm. And what White does this feathers. represent, or what do they think, what's going right. on here? Well, in the meantime, uh, Marion is hot on their trail. Mm. He yeah, is yeah. he is he is following them very closely in his yeah. canoe. Um he comes across the a chicken that they abandoned and some oh, yeah, apples. A couple of river apples. River apples. Yep. yep. I love that do. he finds the chicken floating down the river. And then mm-hmm. the next scene he's eating it. Yeah. 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 We just see him uh, uh, uh looking at something and then a chicken leg comes up <laughs> from below the screen. He's like, hum, they went that way. It's like where, where's that chicken, man? <laughs> I know. He's a formidable hunt a hunter oh, and yeah. tracker. He is going to find them. Um so yeah, so what mm-hmm. what this tree covered with feathers? Because it's a, an arresting image. You find right. a tree with feathers all over the, covered the with ground. Perfectly and, white feathers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this is a, a sign. It's a, the devil. It, it's the devil. Yeah, it's it's an omen. The path will disappear well, behind what, you. Yeah, because it's a warning. They, yeah, um, it's a warning. Yeah. Was Marion with him at this point? Yeah. yeah. So he explained yeah. it to them. Cause, yeah, because they yes. come across. Um, well, first of all, the Indians, like uh, are, uh, the Native Americans and the, um, I don't know who else was with them. Because it's the three Indians yeah, and the three other guys. Yeah, because I'm sure that yeah. they were French or what, but I they, they were French, are. But I have no idea. Yeah, Marion's like, they're, you know, the bad guys. We yeah. got to shoot and kill them. They're bad right. news. And he's like, don't kill the Indians, but they, of course they have already shot one, you know, that was running away. Yeah. Um, and so he explains that, like, okay, the, the Shawnee are still following us, um, but they don't want to go in here. Like, this is some kind of marker that, mm-hmm. like, I mean, basically it's a haunted forest. Yeah. Right. Is what he's saying. They yeah. believe it's and a haunted valley forest. that they want to go into. Yeah. yeah. And so, of course, there is the wise uh, woman says, well, if they don't want to go in there, should we go in there? No. You shouldn't. Silly woman. <laughs> <laughs> but crazy woman in your witchcraft. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but they're like, she she's insane know. with the heat. Yeah. But we <laughs> got to get away <laughs> from these, uh, the, the, the pursuing Indians. So away we go. And then they find, I think in pretty short order, a cabin. A couple cabins. Yeah. Yeah. That have been, some uh, like run down. Yeah. Abandoned. They are in disrepair. Yeah. To say the least. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's all busted up and mm-hmm. they find evidence that somebody else did live there yes there's like like jewelry and like an old doll and there's yep. yeah evidence that people left in a hurry yep. this is ominous right yeah. this is what's telling you like uh this is bad news and you should probably scoot yeah but they're like scoot, no i'll get the fuck out of dodge <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well because i mean let's be real back then i mean it takes a while to build a house yeah and they're yeah. just gonna leave it right and there's like, already no, no, some, you some sort of you don't leave your house. It takes a really long time to build that shit. Right. You know? I, I mean, I, every time I do watch something Western or Western adjacent, I am reminded that, like, you are one broken wheel away from death. Yep. Yeah. Like, your wheel breaks on your covered wagon like we saw in Ballad at Buster Scruggs. You're yes. fucked. Like, yeah. that, like that's a drown. bottle episode of horror TV right there, okay. you know? You like they, drowned while trying to ford the river? Yeah. Like, like cholera? They, you could they break weren't, an axle? They weren't joking when they... This is Oregon Trail. I was going to say, they weren't yeah. joking when they showed us how things are in Oregon Trail. Yeah. No, they really like you're gonna die like that three yeah. of your three of your group died of dysentery yeah, yeah. and now happens. kevin you costner 30, you have 30 minutes of computer made... class and you're gonna die four times <laughs> right like well see absolutely. i think kevin costner inspired by that has made horizon an american saga which is about like this yeah. uh, massive oh. so yeah is that part yeah. one of two, i saw right? part yeah. one yeah how was it um unfinished oh yeah <laughs> i mean but it's i get what he's is it epic yeah. is that what he's going for he's like trying a, to go okay. with the perseverance and the spirit of these people who you know moved Manifest across the, yeah. <laughs> the, the 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 country you know um he's got one trick doesn't he mm-hmm I That's think he's it. inspired by. There was a movie called How the West. Okay, this is yeah. uh, beside the point. Uh, so these <laughs> folks settle into this broken down, dilapidated mm-hmm. cabin, 
and um, there's ominous portents nearby. Right. There are trees it, yeah, and faces. The, the whole mm-hmm. time, the whole time that they're making their way and moving into this little abandoned uh, settlement, uh, Nell is. <laughs> is seeing things and being she's communing with the the territory right, right. the spirits of the surrounding area she's sensitive to the magic right they they i mean we saw she she snapped the rope when she he did, was yep. when he was hanging and then we see when they're on their fit when the they're on the oh, ferry. Yeah, she's, moving shit. she's like moving shit without touching it. Yeah, she's telekinetic. So she's got. Well, she saves them. That's right. She creates a windstorm to right. carry them away from right. the, the she arrows. Like shields. And arrows. She yeah. shields the the ferry. Yes. Yeah. With an invisible with shield. Herself. With will. Mm-hmm. Power it's, of will. I mean, it's it's what Bella does in Twilight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So just putting it out there. But there's these trees, right? With the faces. It's a creepy looking image. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah. Um, That's good. Well, you said it. <laughs> well, now, did you? You knew. You've seen this before. Yeah, but I forgot just, about it, you know. But I saw, like, as the camera panned over, I'm like, Is that That's a, face? a, a profile of a face. Yeah. Right. And then it panned down so fast. I'm like, wait, did you guys <laughs> see that too? And I was like, oh, there we, there's another one that kind of looks like a face. And then just, I love this shot where it just slowly moved up the tree. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, now I just want to call her Nell. God damn it. Yeah. No, she's Leah. Nell. Leah. That Leah was against, and you just see more faces. And she's like, oh, all right. People. So she's, uh, I don't even think she's necessarily aware of, like, what, you know, she just knows it's a bad place. Yeah, and she's just still trying to figure out, like, yeah. I think she. She's sensitive. Yeah, but she knows she um, has to get stronger, as she tells the children. And I want to say that um, Dalton, right, also being uh, wise of the uh, the ways of the land, mm-hmm. right, gives He's, us, I believe, right. our exposition of setting up what the 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 antagonist is going to be. Yes. Um, at one point, he's sitting around a campfire with Fanny, his daughter, and he's telling her that there's legend out there that when an innocent is, is uh when an innocent blood is spilled it like seeps into the ground and eventually all that blood like coagulates and becomes a demonic figure yeah like a living spirit like yeah. it actually yeah, comes enough, up out of the ground enough of the blood will come together at certain points and eventually a breathing soul will come from that yeah i like yeah. the story yeah, yeah i dig the, the, the it the folklore it. of this it's, folklore yeah. horror movie is pretty yeah. good mm-hmm. around a campfire yeah just oh, how yeah. you just right. how you just want a it slow walk moving camera into them around mm-hmm. it it was very nice yeah i like that so i think it's um like the next morning uh in the mist right they are visited by uh naked the, mud people yes so yeah one of the primary um uh I don't know what you want to call forces. it. Forces. Forces. Sure. Yeah. Let's call it forces <laughs> is a group of muddy naked people. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like, they're very like, they'll just be like statuesque. And then all of a sudden, like ever, like they all look to the left at the same time and yep. then run. <laughs> and it's yeah. very jarring. I know. It's kind of creepy. It's I very, guess, oh, yeah. I think know, it's creepy. Yeah. Mud streaked yeah. naked people who pop in and out of existence and yeah. kind of janky. It's that like frozen effects, to like quick movement is very yeah. jarring. But when we first see them, I guess I took it as like there's some like other tribe of native native people. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And that's what the the people of the settlement are wondering. They think it's the Shonies again. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Dalton is like, uh, well, whoever they are, you know, the the Shawnee won't come in here because of them. So like mm-hmm. we should be wary. But the uh, preacher is like, well, they came and they didn't hurt us, so maybe we should make friends with them. So they leave gifts out for them, yeah. which I think is some more clothing. It's more yeah, clothes. They keep stuff. giving out their clothes like naked, they've got a ton. Yeah, yeah, right. And they, the, the, the. We give you clothes. You give us a human being. Okay, so this is weird. Yeah, no, yeah. it's yep. weird. It's sure weird. Sure weird. It's, I don't, but I don't know the, the customs of the day. They're just like here. We give you. Uh, this is your ward now. This is like Game of Thrones. It's just like <laughs> now. Now you take care of the child from this family. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, that's and raise do. it as your own. Yeah, this is the Andre Joy, and uh, now he's a uh, you know he's a Stark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it is uh, like literally a little girl shows yeah. up in the woods <laughs> and under the, a pile of furs. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And the and preacher, they're just like. It's a gift. <laughs> Look, it's, it's a, gift. a gift. Let's teach it Christianity. Yeah. Let's, First thought from that man. Like, yeah. oh, let's baptize her. This better, <laughs> this better not be my future. Nobody's leaving babies at my doorstep. I don't want them. Michaela, like, I think you might be the thing that gets left. <laughs> you might be the gift at you a certain know, point. You know how in like other old time movies, they'll, like, they'll put a baby in a basket yeah. with a note pinned to it on a doorstep and they like, literally make it someone else's problem? Right. Should you yeah. find Guys, this could baby? you imagine if that happened in modern days? That seems it like your worst like, nightmare. It does. Like, it we, is. Like, 
Exactly. We especially literally just saw this in Godzilla Minus yeah, One. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. if you're off being a bog witch. Yeah. And then suddenly you're just they enjoying that life. They finally do find me. You, right. And they just leave you a yes. baby. Yeah. Like, can, exactly. you imagine, can you imagine like walking out on your little like bog dock and you're yeah. just like, oh, enjoying the morning and then you look down Fuck. and there's a baby. Yeah. Yeah, but a How bog witch, me? don't you, you like need that baby fat, right? Probably. To rub all over oh, your uh, say, But you've lost the English language yeah. at this point. Put that over the broom and makes you fly. Yeah. Baby yeah, fat. Yeah, but Michaela's yeah. not heartless. Okay. <laughs> she would she would take the baby. She'd just be really pissed about All it. All I'm saying is I'm <laughs> thankful that we had the firehouse thing where you can leave them no questions asked. Because then yeah, the it gets that's the modern day the equivalent. Yeah. yeah. Because at least So it makes sense now, like a bog witch did leave this baby. Yeah. Because yes. That does make sense. Uh, I don't want it. Because mm-hmm. the bog witch is like, fuck that. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it to the preacher. Oh, shit, yeah. There's people here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it actually makes sense. It mm-hmm. checks. Right. It checks out. There we go. Yeah. Because at least their babies are going in the right direction if, with that rule, you know? I, <laughs> just well, the idea of just taking the biggest responsibility in the world and dumping it on someone else's doorstep to make it their problem is insane to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like they're a family already and they yeah. have means. We'll just leave it they with them. They will find one more. The baby will be better off. Right. Yeah. They yeah. will die with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flourish. Uh, uh, um, you keep talking about a bog witch. Oh, right. So um, the evil presence that they are um, detecting, that Nell's detecting throughout this mm. entire process, um, yeah, eventually, she right, she sees, we see the, the naked mud people and we see like flashes when they, fi- when they find the little girl, Nell sees the little girl as like with glowing Baby evil Mystique. eyes. Baby mm-hmm. Mystique. Thank Literally. you. Yeah. So all of this is coming from a source and that source um, is a bog witch. Okay, <laughs> so then I have the question, is uh, the bog witch or the little girl the uh, evil spirit that's been made from the pool of blood from all the souls? All of them. Yep, all of them. <sighs> I, I think it's I think it's both. Yeah. I think okay. it's, it's it's the same. Okay. Yeah, it's all like one. So that's just yeah. why the area is evil. Like, like you yeah. know how like a, like other bog witches might have like a crow that's like an extension of her yeah Mm -hmm. it's like that but it's a little girl was the bog witch ever (laughs) human i mean unclear like like were the like when the white walkers were once human i'm going to game of thrones a lot right but no like yeah it's once like multiple humans it's the blood of many people okay so well that's That's i guess what i was she's the manifestation of all the blood that was shed yes that he talked about around the campfire yes Okay, because that's, I guess, how I was taking it. I'm like, this is a creature that never was human. It's like born right. of a tree or something, yeah. but it's born, it, or, you know, it's made up yeah, of we keep, earth. We keep saying it's, yeah. it's a bog witch, but it's literally like made from the earth. It's yeah. mud yeah. and the tr- and trees. And, and, yeah. yeah. It, it does and, have. And its guts are worms, worms and, and bu- yeah. bugs and shit. Yeah, yeah, but it, and it, it seems to be able to sink down into the earth and yep. come out of trees yep. and, you know, so it can just pop up wherever. I, These are some cool effects. Oh, like, yeah. I kind of love this one. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it looks really cool. It's yeah. really cool. <laughs> yeah, we maybe see her too many times, but I disagree. I, I okay. don't even see her enough. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing her. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, All right, she's got the Michael Jackson thriller oh, eye yeah. contacts, uh, uh, yellow slitted eyes. Yeah. You know, oh. so it's, eyes of fire. Yeah. Eyes of fire. Um, yeah. So they'll return. Well, we know that she's the out there, right? Because I think, like, it, I mean, the movie cuts away to actually show her running around out there oh, with the. Yeah. Uh, the uh, naked people. Right. Who are the naked people, the naked spirits then? So they are the spirits of the ones that were in the settlement and tried to leave. Yeah, it and turns she- out they were French. They were like yeah, they French were, they settlers. They were French settlers. Right. Yeah. And they tried to leave. They're the ones that abandoned that right. settlement. They left a message. And, yeah. They left a message on a stone tablet. A, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that was I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. yeah. I dug it. Yeah. But Marion, yeah. Marion is just out, you know, uh, looking for shit. And he's just like, oh, I found a tablet that explains what yeah it's all broken up it's in pieces yeah. right yeah but he finds all the pieces that's yeah. lucky but i also like the fact that um <laughs> it wasn't fanny or eloise it was oh, uh, uh margaret margaret that's oh. jewel's wife yeah. like uh, knows french apparently and yeah. can read you know like i mean back then i suppose that was a unique talent yeah. right. <laughs> you know she's an educated oh, they're, woman they're lucky that yeah she could do that yeah, <laughs> seriously very lucky <laughs> So these people um, were corrupted by the valley, the evil, the, mm-hmm. the witch, and eventually 
Well, I guess we don't know yet what really happened to them, but they are now, their souls are running around in her service. Yeah, we yeah. get, we get, uh, Nelsie's like flashbacks of yeah. what happened. We, and we get brief glimpses of them trying to flee. And then they like flash into the, like the naked version of them and then they disappear. Yeah. That's a clothed version of them. It's yeah. that just shows up and they all run away. They, it's like they see something and they're trying to run, but then they're One like, one guy tries to warn them. It's like, wait, no, don't go. Yeah. It's, yeah. So we don't see them like it's, it's actually the photography in, in the movie at this point it, it gets very weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't I think the movie it. becomes it's very weird. Yeah, at this well, point. yeah, much weird. It's flashing yeah. up to like negative. Oh, they do like negative. Yeah. Images. Yeah. yeah. It's very interesting. It's like they're turning the night for day mm -hmm. on and off. Mm -hmm. Like right. the switch. Yeah. yeah. It's very interesting. The. Um, I guess. It. The movie itself starts getting weirder as uh, there, there becomes like a lot of they're sitting around waiting. Mayor, uh, Dalton's always like talking to his Dalton daughter. Wanted, they're like, we're Dalton's getting been up. trying to leave for a yeah, month. We're leaving yeah. this place. It's like we're leaving. Please go with me a month later. Please go yeah. with me. It's because the other dude grows a beard in the amount of time that it takes <laughs> Dalton. It's always like, all right, he doesn't grow anything, but we're yes. going to have to leave. He's just like, today, he, he found like, a beard. He's like, today's the day. I'm leaving today. <laughs> yeah. And then the next, nope, today's the day. Nope, come on, please go with me. So I don't I don't understand, I guess, his character, why it takes him so long. Because it doesn't seem like there's things going on in the camp that would I think he's, keep him. I think he's trying to convince more people to go with I him. I think so. Oh, it's his wife. Yeah. yeah. it is his wife still that he's trying to convince. Yeah, he's trying and, to convince well, her to go with. Yeah, but Fanny. he says, like, you know... It's like, well, you got to come with me. And she's like, no, I'm with, uh, you know, Will Smythe now, the preacher. Yeah. And he's like, okay, fine. Then I'm leaving. And then he doesn't. So right. we're saying that right. he's sticking around because she's there. And they make a settlement out of those cabins. Um, and then they get attacked a couple of times by the naked mud people. And well, they, attacked. Uh, things well, get they, taken. They, they steal his books. Yeah, but yeah. we don't see this. It's just they wake up and like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, they're running. They're running off into the distance, like they, you know, they were found yeah. later on. They do come back again and steal his trunk of books, and he's very pissed. And his books mm -hmm. like reappear, like Blair Witch Two style. Yeah, like they, it really he wakes is. up one morning and there's mm -hmm. all the pages, pages all are all him. over the place. Um, that was a, a kind of cool thing. What did they call in that? So they built a, a a guard shack basically around. Yeah. I forgot what they called it, but. That's part of it. So they had oh, to yeah. their security defenses. They built ramparts and shit. <laughs> yeah, so they can't get in. Now they have like an actual. I can't gate. get in. Climb over the fucking wood pile that's right next to it. That's only like five feet tall. <laughs> well, it had, it had walls, right? And it had a gate, I think, that they had it something did, tied yeah. to. I mean, you could Not cut impenetrable. It. Right. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, so as we know from later on, when uh, uh, bones and rocks get thrown over at right. them. That was kind of. Interesting. They do come actually under attack from the spirit people, yep. and instead of bows and arrows or anything, it's, it's skulls and bones. Yeah, and... that are tossed over. But they're shooting back at the naked mud people, and, what's and happening they to them? they explode. They are exploding with they the force explode. of sticks of dynamite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when when shot. So I yeah. think is the movie saying that like if you kill a spirit, it like thermonuclear explosion. It would appear so, and it appears you can kill spirits with just regular bullets. Yeah, interesting. Okay, but yep. I mean they they come back. <laughs> they do though. That's right. Yeah, yeah they I come mean because I, I I guess you're you're looking for some kind of finality in in mm. a big ass mm -hmm. explosion. It's like we well, got that one. Now there's only six left, you know, or whatever. But yeah, it does seem like it's always about six of them always running at people. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm like playing duck hunt with these. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then uh, uh, Dalton again is like, oh, we're, we're leaving. Uh, but then he can't <laughs> because he goes to find his daughter to wake her up early one morning. Right. And she's we're gone. Funny. Yeah. We don't have her. <laughs> Says the two lovebirds. Uh, <laughs> I, I, like, I hate up. that guy, but I like that guy. Yeah, yeah. again, perfectly. I cast. love to hate him. Mm -hmm. yep. And He's got uh, that fucking yeah, face. they he, they find Fanny out in the middle of the woods, surrounded by the naked mud people, and she's in a coma, I guess. And she is after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like a there's a it, it's kind of convoluted the way they do it. Like she's in a coma, but um, I think it's uh uh Aaliyah. Right, yeah, we see in like a flashback somehow tunes in on where she is. 
yeah. realizes it's that like she's they tap been... into like the spirit side of things, yeah. like yeah. the spirit world or whatever. And this is where they get the idea that the secret power of the area is the trees. Like um, they've taken, um, Lee, no, they've taken what's the Fanny. one? The Fanny. They took Fanny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And actually, like, absorbed her soul into a tree. So I think at mm-hmm. one point we see a face of hers growing on a tree. Right. And somebody well, no, cuts they suck that. one of the little kids into a tree. That happens next. Okay. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah. where it <laughs> seems like you're doing the same thing multiple right. times yeah. in the movie and where your patient starts to go, like, okay, I saw. This seems but, like Michaela's doing. <laughs> Start controlling the trees and, like, I'll get you, children. <laughs> yeah, so don't they, like, doesn't Dalton go out there and hack a tree down and doing so, like, he wakes does. up uh, yeah. the comatose. Yeah, because he, he cuts down the tree where her face is, and that releases her back. But she, when she wakes up, is like, the reason that I was able to come back is because of Leah. Yeah. Because I saw Leah in wherever I was, mm-hmm. and she's actually a fairy. And I think we see her with wings. At one point, yeah, we see her okay. with wings. Yeah. And she's like... Uh, is every once in a while she's naked? Yeah. Just Later every on, so randomly, often. she'll just pop out of some water. Yeah, every uh, so often she's mm-hmm. naked. This is the Nell part that <laughs> sounds like that's Nell. Well, doesn't right. the, the, the movie's kind of narrated by... Um, the children. It's narrated yeah. by Fanny and then th- when Fanny is out of action by the smaller kid as yeah, well. So. Because right. they're, yeah, they're telling the story to the to, French. To the French. That have found them at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. So that's how we kind of know that only three of these people survive, right? Yep. It's... Uh, Fanny and the two kids are the only survivors that were uh, that we believe at the beginning anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and she says uh, that um, Leah has begun to start. She started to act weird, stranger than usual. <laughs> and <laughs> she's, was it the mud eating? <laughs> right. Uh, Scarfing. We have watched mud. some off shit down mm-hmm. here. I'll say some quite disgusting things, sure, bloody and what sure. have you. Yeah. This bothered me. This is the one that got shot. Mouthfuls of just dirt and mud. Just yeah. Bleh, mm, bleh. Yeah. I don't know if it actually was. You're hoping that it was some kind of like chocolate pudding. It's the 80s. And, I uh, doubt 80s. it. We don't know. And, I doubt and it. And cake or right, something. You're, but... you're hoping it's the gummy worms <laughs> in the dirt. That's what you're hoping. Oh. Oh, man, I'm, ho- I'm hoping that it's stuff. at least that like, you know how there's like coffee the, grounds. There's like the red dirt in the south that it's actually like actually edible. Like there's a lot of nutrients in it and it has like a sweetness to it. Mm. You've heard about this? No, no. It's a no you're the only one eating dirt. <laughs> I didn't do it. No, they like, don't bake pies with it a, now. No, it's a southern thing. Like there's a specific kind of like red dirt that you can actually eat. It but, makes sense that the South would be like, I wonder if I could eat that dirt. Right. <laughs> they filmed it in Missouri. That's all I'm saying. It could have been. It could have been. been. All the edible dirt. Okay. True I'm that. Not, I'm gonna she, look this up later. Just uh, I'm curious. She's also <laughs> described as a, she starts to smell like a bush. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, you eat grass, you're gonna smell like that. Yeah, yeah, she started to change. She started smelling like bushes. And um uh she Leah has also zoned in on this little uh the girl, the orphan girl. Right. As like yeah. she's evil because she saw the vision of her, yeah. right? right? And so I think we're seeing the little orphan girl then tries to lead the other children out into the woods. Yeah. And I think right. that's where one of them gets absorbed by a tree. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Because yep. this, like I said, this little girl's an extension of the the bog witch. Yes. So yeah. she, they're trying to take all of the people, one by one, and f- feed them to the trees. So <laughs> how do they rescue? <laughs> remind me. How do we re- well, rescue the, the no, little well, girl? The little girl gets sucked in the tree, and yep. that's yeah. when Marion goes and hits a tree. Right. He does so, it twice. He does it twice. He, he destroys so, a tree that releases her. Yeah. Because there's a face on it. There's a face. So they see the body of the little girl is hanging from the cross that they put up. They put up a cross and the little girl's body is hanging from it, but her face is all weird. And then we see her face on the tree. Marion finds that tree and he cuts that tree down. And when he does that, it releases the little girl. Yeah. But at this point, the little girl's grandma has already gone insane. And oh, you mean sister? Like, yeah, sister. She's <laughs> like, no, she's dead. She's dead. And they're like, she's literally breathing. She's right here, alive. Keep her away from me. She's dead. Like, yeah. This is, okay, this is your role in the, when we recast the movie. You're going to be Thank dead. you. Thank you. Why do I think that this whole thing about, like, you know, trees and spirits in trees mm. is that like an irish folk horror thing these i mean all, i know these are all irish immigrants oh. dalton is like. irish yeah i think most of them are irish are yeah. they okay i think so i mean and and it is like a lot of native american cultures do have uh 
like folklore about tree like tree spirits. Yeah, nature. So, uh, you know. you remember so when, whether they took it from Irish folklore or native, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. It where seems it, yeah. like a mismatch. or a, uh, 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 a mashup? Mashup, yeah. It is a mashup. Yeah. You remember when William Friedkin made that movie about the, 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 the nanny that was trying to take the girl and sacrifice her to the tree? The Guardian? <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> All right, from the director the of The Exorcist. All right, so what now? Uh, okay. Um, so good to know. Marion uh, is uh, so. I think at this point, like you know, everything's kind of breaking down within the yeah. um, w- within the little camp. Um, oh, yeah, because they do get attacked by the mud people, and Jewel gets it in the neck. Yeah. Yeah. Her. What happened to Mrs. Peabody? Yeah. Or sister. She she's just like fuck it. I'm just oh, gonna. She's like I'm just going. Oh, she just she walks off. out. Yeah. She just walks out. She's like I'd rather be with the mud people than with you crazies. Yep, they'll kill and me in there. Yeah, they take her. She's gone. Yep. So um, well, but Marion is going out eventually, like yeah. to save uh. Marion tries to leave with Fanny and one of the little girls. Yes. He tries to leave, and then. In oh. and route and like in that journey, they find that tree. They find the tree, um, and Marion actually the big tree, the, the one big that tree, the wicked tree. tree. Yeah. And the bog witch is like chilling in her little spa, like her little you know in j- the bog jacuzzi, mm-hmm. her bog yeah, jacuzzi. in the bog, yeah, yeah. She's just like chilling in a hot tub, and they're in a tree trying to like hide from her. Yeah, because they're like, oh shit, there she is. We can't move. Yeah, we got to so, sit here and wait. And she's just like basking in her. She came in back jacuzzi. injured, didn't she? Because when she looking at her guts, and that's when we saw all the worms and stuff coming out. Maybe was she I injured, think, or I was she, she just was like, in the because attack? Of, because I think uh, they killed like some of. I think that was the scene which was uh, where the spirits where they rushed the the encampment yeah. and they shot back and blew them up. Oh, I think she was injured. Gotcha. In that. Or yeah, because maybe... they're also extensions of her. Yeah, because she came back doing this, laying on the ground and everything, holding her stomach. Holding her stomach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did Leah do some kind of magic at that point that uh, also injured her? I can't remember. There's I don't some... know. Leah is zigzagging throughout this entire movie, <laughs> right. as it was later on. So she pops in and pops out. Right. Uh, I don't think anyone's really keeping track of her. Because no. okay. well, they even say, like, at this point, Leah went missing. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. they don't know where she is. Yeah. But they're hiding in the tree. They fall asleep and they drop something on the bog witch. Yeah. And then Marion like fights the bog witch and loses. And he gets sucked into the He gets sucked into the the bog jacuzzi. Yep. And then into the becomes one with the tree. He does. Yeah. But not totally one. No. Well, his face is in the his you know, face dead face. But he's all, but tree, like the like, bog, which is also like in bank next to him, <laughs> right? right hanging so out. they're just like twinsies, like sitting there, like looking at each other. <laughs> uh, uh, well, the girls, so like we got uh, into this situation because of you. Just like I know we're stuck in a tree. Isn't it the three girls <laughs> then uh, get away? It's like it's, so the two girls get away and they go back to the camp. Oh shit, that's right. Because right. they're yeah. like we don't have gets, anywhere. Yeah, he gets swallowed yeah, up. Yeah, they're like Marion's like, gone. We couldn't do anything. So like my my dad's gone. Like we got to go back. We can't do anything else. Um, but at this point, this is when I think the rest of the camp is, they've had their fill of the reverend because that Jewel dies. <laughs> right. Jewel dies. Yeah. Jewel dies. And then it's just the women and the reverend and they're like, fuck this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So the they start packing up their shit yeah. to leave and he's not going with cause he's like he's losing no. it. Yeah. He's, he's he goes crazy. crazy. Yeah. He mm-hmm. tries to give her flowers. That, <laughs> yeah. that scene might be my favorite part. That like, well, scene. You can't was, just leave. You can't so just like, leave. I, I love you. <laughs> See, they should have done I've, like I've, I've a, done it before. I, I can do it again. I have a to. shining thing with him, where he like right. you know he. Lo- I guess maybe that's what they were going for. He loves the area so much because he's like possessed by the area. Yeah. But really, yeah. I didn't feel what the appeal was mm-hmm. outside of like his own some character flaw on his part. Yeah, yeah I needed like, I, can, I needed more there. Yeah, to figure out like what his deal was. I I like the idea of him going crazy, but I need more like his craziness to be attached to that area. He ends up, I believe, off camera and possibly like edited together for some kind of closure to his character. I think we hear a shot. Yeah, because yeah. he he um sees the spirit of the old lady. She's all like got like the weird face oh, going sister, on yeah. of sister. She's got like the oh, yeah, weird she's face. Got, um Kathy's curse face going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. And then he sees like the mud people and he's just like, fuck it. And we hear the gunshot. Yeah. So yeah. he's out. He's out. So now that it really only leaves uh, the two women and the two yeah. kids uh, and, and Fanny. Yeah. yeah. And they're already on their journey 
trying to go back home. So what is it? They they come under attack while yeah, they're the trying editing to... gets a little sketchy at this point. Yeah, they're so, trying to cross a river. I remember. Yeah, then... they're trying to ford the river. <laughs> yeah, yep. and um, Nell is back. <laughs> she is communing with Marion. Who's now part of the tree, and she's like, "I can right. help you get out of this." She's, you have all, to, she's also you have speaking to try. Now. Yeah. yeah, now she can talk. Now she can talk. She couldn't talk before, but now she can. Yeah, and she. This is where we see her with her wings, her fairy wings. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and naked she, with fairy yeah, she's wings. Naked, naked with fairy movie, wings. Basically. Yeah. yeah. And so she, did she die? She, no, she no, became more powerful. She just transformed. Yeah, right. because she ate enough mud. Okay. Yeah. The earth, right? Yeah, she's yeah. really yeah. Now, full of earth now. She's like, earth she's magic. like, okay, I'm full fairy mode now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right? Like yeah. she, like she yeah. powered up. She powered up full fairy mode, and she's talking to Mary, and she's like, I can help you, but you have to try. Yes. I need you, you to, have get to pull out. her out. I need you to get out of this tree and pull her out with you, yes. and then let me take it from here. Yep. And so he does. Though it's crazy as it sounds. He pulls the witch out of the yeah. tree, and then they both explode. Yep, they both explode. Because, Thermonuclear, because and we're like, why not? okay, yeah. we got it. Now, where is? I mean, the, uh, I would hope that in the spirit world, there's a lot of explosions. I think like, that's what I want. The know? little demon girl is it's also exciting. killed, right? He shoots her at some point uh, prior to this. Yeah, she gets shot in the field and explodes, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, she's mm-hmm. running away from during the attack. I think that was when the uh, it hurt the bog witch. Okay. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah. 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 Proceeded. Yeah, because that's yeah. when the mud people were attacking and throwing shit yeah. over and yep. bones and skulls and because that was like direct right. arm of that's the bog when witch. we saw yeah. actual baby mystique face because we've seen flash forwards to that yeah. a couple times in red. It's the coloring in this movie is uh, at certain points is very very interesting, um, but yeah, so she ends up. Um, going out, they shoot her. She explodes, mm-hmm. and, so then, he, and then and then Bogwitch explodes. Is like, Bog Witch. with Bogwitch, yeah. But then, but they're also still being attacked by mud people on on the river. Uh, yeah, but the, then the mud people somehow. Um, what stopped uh, them? Well, Leah, like, oh, she right. confronts the Bogwitch, she, and yes. she's like, "Give me your power!" As the Bogwitch yes. is belching up this like nasty goo, mm-hmm. and then and a the, frog, a glowing the frog, yes, a oh, glowing frog. frog. A a glowing <laughs> frog comes out of the bog witch's mouth she and grabs it. Leah eats grabs it. it and eats it and yeah. absorbs the power of the bog witch. At which point she's able to control the dead French colonists and makes them all die yeah. and they float down the river and saying clean. something. Disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah I didn't she hear what she said. She sets them free. Basically. She sets them free. Yeah. I what she said before they all sunk into the river. Yeah. It's a, but, it's a nice image though. These naked people like floating yeah. and then slowly fading or yep. going below the, but, the surface. Yeah. As all of this was happening, the the two women who are still left from the camp, Eloise and, and the other woman, um, they Margaret. have, yeah. is it mm-hmm. Margaret? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Uh, they have uh, sealed the children. In a in a box, a yeah. coffin, a coffin, yes. basically, and set them down river, like Moses, to save baby them. Moses. I yeah. was more thinking is like when people used to go over <laughs> Niagara Falls in a barrel for fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fun. yeah. a lot of people died doing that, right? A lot of people died yeah, doing that. For well, sure. that's why I'm like, how do they it's know? It's a barrel like, what's and a waterfall. I guess they were under attack, so like, save the children. We'll yep. just send them down the river. But for a like, week. You, like you, but you can't them. seal them in a box in yeah. the river. Yeah. Like you Moses was in a basket, not a sealed coffin. Yeah, this did not look waterproof. No. No. They would have fucking sunk. Yeah. They would have drowned to death in that box. It would have been horrible. Yeah, nothing yeah. was okay. You know, the this. movie of them, the week inside this box is horrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh buried. it's buried. It's buried. But in yeah. water. Did anyone yeah. go to the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. They were in there for a week. They had to be shit and pissing in uh, it. That's, yeah. Ugh. Um, there's a scene that happens in here where uh, Marion. Marion comes back. Yeah. Reunited with Eloise and Margaret. Yeah. And so. I guess the implication is that they survive the movie. Yeah. Uh, even though the movie's being told from the sole survivors, the other three, um, mm-hmm. um, Fanny and the two girls who eventually go down and uh, find the French mm-hmm. soldiers, but these three are still alive. Mm-hmm. Or is he evil? I don't get the impression that he is. I don't like his he's soul evil. has been freed and yeah, he's back. They're still alive. So are yeah. they looking for these kids? I, well, I don't yeah, know. I, I assume they I will look for yeah, them. Yeah, the sequel. Be a, a, well, I would thought I was, I was going to say there's eventually going to be a reunion, but based on our last shot of this movie, well, that's, not be. But that's the thing, though, because at the end of the movie, we cut back to the kids in the French camp, and they had they've told their story, and the French guy's like, "Well, I don't know what to do with you kids. Like I don't this is you, yeah. I, I don't believe you. This is insane. Take them away." And 
they cut to and at this point the little one of the little girls is looking at the fire and she sees the face of Nell and Nell's like it's okay child I'll take care of everything and then she like gives her a flower and oh yeah puts a flower in yeah, yeah puts a flower yeah, in yeah. hand yeah. and then he's like take these children away and we see the guard step forward and he's got the glowing eyes the, of the yeah, witch the so the, witch. the implication there being the that, evil has followed them out of the valley well I think the implication is it's Nell. Or Leah, sorry. It's Leah. She Her spirit is there with them. She's going to save them because she's now harnessed the power of the witch. Right? But she looks evil. I mean, that's a that's an evil looking shot. That's an shot. evil ending. Yeah, because the right, guys yeah. are all in shadow with just the eyes illuminated and they're those, you know, Yeah, evil, I think she's eyes. going to slaughter the entire French camp and set the kids free. I think she's like oh. bad but good. You know oh, what I mean? Really? That's okay. what I think. Oh. All right. Yeah. Why not? I mean, what's the other alternative? The evil still. That? The I evil's mean, it's just still alive. Yeah, which and seems. Then, but I Nell like your will version. Help them. Nell, Leah. Well, it, it, makes, help it makes more sense because yeah. Leah appeared and was like, "Everything's going to be okay. I'll take care of it." And then we see glowing eyes, so it's like she took that power. So that's clearly her. Oh no! I think, I think the evil's alive. She's the evil. But she did take the witch's power. Yeah, she's the evil. <sighs> she's like you said. That's an evil ending. It looks evil. That's, that's an saying. ominous she's, evil. She's ending. not good. She's not bad. She's both. Because, she's the, the spirit of the yeah, forest. Remember it's, earlier around the campfire when he's talking, he was like, "There's always a side of bad to a side of good." I can get to that. She's because both. Maybe she possesses him, and then just the French is like, "Get them out of here!" And then then she, the French guy's gonna be like, "Go for your free run," because he's she's taken over him. I don't know. It seemed evil. Right. She's both. Okay. He set it around the fire. I know. For every good, I know. I evil. know. Like she's both because right, she fine. harnessed the power of the witch. That's fine. fine. I'm willing to uh, subscribe to this. Thank uh, you. Interpretation yeah, there's nothing that's. that's I think, yeah. Yeah, that, no reason to argue against it. Yeah, I think the visual coding is wonky, but I think that that works the Thank best. You. All right. <laughs> Uh, it's better than what I came up with because I was like, I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the, why I'm here, guys. The evil <laughs> survives. That's kind of a downer. Sets up a sequel, Eyes of Fire uh-huh. 2, The Reunion. Um, oh, okay, well, uh, you've listened to us uh, explain the entire movie. For those of you who haven't seen it, uh, <laughs> um, now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch it. But before we do that, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, sir. He has eyes of fire. Hmm. Yeah, he's possessed oh, yeah, by something. He's definitely, I mean, I think that's more pink eye. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that's get, really get that contagious. That, Igor. Careful, yeah. uh, careful with that mail. Someone Colin. farting into his pillow every night or something. <laughs> Um, well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or X. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on threads and Instagram threads. People are following along on threads. Yeah. It's like all of a sudden oh, it's shit. taking off. Yeah. Hey. It's all of a Saturday sudden, Night Freak Show. Sure, need to go on a thread? That's we've, only, we've been there. That's right. We were pioneers on the platform. Now <laughs> I'm glad that you're all finding us. Were like, we? Like these people we I are on the frontier uh, yeah. of threads i wouldn't know i'm not on threads uh, <laughs> i'm also not on threads. not yet you weren't okay uh, so uh about tonight's movie eyes of fire michael whitaker writes in and says this movie stars pinky from pinky in the brain <laughs> yes. in the world of voice acting you don't get bigger and more connected to my youth than rob paulson it's true and that's like finding out that mel blank was in psycho or something like that <laughs> of course mel blank was not in psycho i'm just flabbergasted so much I'm using the word flabbergasted. <laughs> and Travis Legler says, Michael Whitaker, hold up. This movie has the OG Raphael, and the best yep. and my personal favorite turtle with Hell's Bells. I'll have to look into this one. So no one's seen the movie, but they might now <laughs> because of the Saturday night freak show. Yep. I got a message from Johnny New Jersey that he watched it because we were going to watch it. There you go. Well, yeah. Good. That's we're what doing we like. the Lord's we work. Love that. He also said, I don't think you've actually watched this, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find this movie, Holly? That yeah. is a good question. That you um, have no answer to? Apparently? Well, because we've talked about this before. I We all have our lists. I have my ongoing list uh, and I have no idea how things end up on there. Got on there. The only thing I can come up with is that when I was looking stuff up about it, 
it said um like it always gives you like the recommendations if you like this you'll like and one of them was um uh, uh fucking uh, night of the scarecrow Oh, Dark 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 yeah. I was like, maybe that's how. I don't uh, know. Interesting. And it know. turns out there's somebody in the cast who's in this. So uh, maybe there's a link. Okay. Yeah. Yep. How they um, get on the list, we'll never know. They just get there. They, yeah. They like just show up. Fairy magic. But I will say, when I was looking for when I was looking for a movie for this week, I saw this one and I looked up the trailer. And I mean, obviously, I think mm. you understand why I picked it. But I also saw this quote about the movie that also made me pick it it said eyes of fire is an ambitious idea gone haywire as if the scarlet letter had zoomed into the future and collided with the movie the exorcist and i was like <laughs> we're watching that movie <laughs> you wish our reviews yeah, could it. be that, that like that's a that's good well that was from karen james of the new york times okay All right, they can <laughs> so, that's also so she's who, earning it <laughs> it's also someone who thought about it and didn't just write that immediately after watching right it. that's right yeah, yeah. which we're doing we have yeah, no time to process. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, last week we watched a movie called. <laughs> oh, we did. And uh, Corpo Agent seventy three says, "I spent a few years in the U.S. Army, and Bravo Company had a trend of getting snakes for pets, considering oh. they were quiet and easily hidden, mainly yeah. pythons. But I think the GI had a boa. The first sergeant <laughs> caught on and cracked down, and no pets were allowed in the barracks. All right, men, no more snakes. No more snakes." <laughs> In this that's, camp. They're like, we can't have dogs and cats. Crazy. We're going to get away with that's crazy. A, that's a horror movie right there. I know, because as we uh, yeah. pointed out on that episode, if they snuggle up next to you while they're you're sleeping. They're measuring you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we touched the nerve with the movie that we watched the week before that, and that was The Crow, City of Angels. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, nerves were touched. No, yeah. nerves were touched. Felt so, mine being um, touched. <clears throat> Joshua Owens writes in and says, I revisited it the other day, and I oh. retract my previous statement about only needing to watch the first two Crow movies, but I did <laughs> laugh pretty hard at the trench coat scene in the peep show booth. Mm -hmm. I forgot yeah. a lot about this movie, but the first one is still the best one. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Uh, SLC Punk I says- I appreciate that. SLC Punk. Yeah. <laughs> SLC Punks. There's a movie. Yeah. Uh, it's SLC a good Punk one. With uh, well, Matthew I mean, Lillard. SLC Punk. This is Punks. Punks. Uh, it says on. it's not the first time. To, it's not the first film to have mistakes in it. And it sure ain't going to be the last. Ugh. I mean, with true. them either, so we get you didn't like it. Vincent Perez was awesome in the Crow City of Angels, mm -hmm. and a Deftones nope. performance toward the end of the film nope. was the cherry on top. Was that the Deftones? It was. Okay. No, Vincent Perez was not good. Man. Scarecrow 1223 says City of Angels is underrated. Sure, it kind of felt like a soft remake of the original, and there were some problems with it, but I'm going to be honest. I actually like that movie. I don't love it, but I like it. It's definitely better than all the direct-to-video Crow movies that we got. Uh, Z Venero says uh, City of Angels, great <laughs> cinematography and physical performances. The score was great. I wish the dialogue could be muted without losing the score. Then it'd be a great film. This movie has uh, a I cult love, following I never it does. expected. It does, because Holy especially it's shit. bringing out the screen names that are just yes. uh, that are more They're interesting. name searching. <laughs> you really know you've hit a nerve. When I can tell some people are name up. searching specific <laughs> movies. This was when, see, Threads. Threads has yeah. come uh, online. Uh, Alpha, Alpha Wolf City says, or no, sorry, Alpha Wolf says City of Angels wasn't horrible. It was okay for what it was at the time, but this remake was so bad it made the City of Angels look like Brandon Lee Look like the Brandon Lee Crow, in my mm. opinion. City of Angels is bad. Um, I mean, Colin is the only one who's seen the new one, so. Well, guess what, Michaela? You can see the new one in September free on Pluto okay, TV. It has been. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's okay. Awesome. I'm glad I didn't waste any money. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I think we own that. So I know. Yeah, why go, go watch see yeah. the Pluto movie TV. at this Pluto, point? Pluto's like, a free app, so out yes. Pluto. Yeah. Go you just have to watch it, it with ads. Wow. Yeah. Pluto. It couldn't even go to HBO or anything. I know. know. Pluto. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's bad. I wonder how much they paid to acquire Holy that. Shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is Pluto Lionsgate's dumping ground? Uh, it's a, it's Sean, maybe Pluto got paid to take it. May oh. Yeah, they're like, maybe they're like, guys, well, right. we can no make money off, the, off yeah. the ads. And, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Drew Thornton says the sequels to The Crow were all hot, hot garbage. I can't believe studio execs thought the latest Crow movie would be somehow different. Mm -hmm. Pars of All 418 says you should have left it alone with the first one in the comics and the movies. Joey Blythe says The Crow Flesh and Blood, a.k.a. The Female Crow, this is a comic uh, gotcha. uh, sequel, uh, is the only version I want to see outside of the original. That being said, 
I'll probably be going to the theater to see the remake and trying to watch it with an open mind. Mark Harrison says one good film can really spawn an entire series, despite all the sequels being shit. Yeah. It still yep. continues to roll ahead. Uh, I watched a clip from whichever one would uh, Wicked Prayer have David Boreanaz in it. Yep. He is. I saw one scene of that. He is absolutely horrible. Yeah. I believe it, it is. God awful. He is. It's like he, he, he's trying to play the Joker. Mm, but no. but with no just but it just see David Boreanaz but just trying to affect a voice that is sound psychotic mm. but without the acting it was horrible he was stretching his acting technique yeah my, my it didn't thing, work like, and everybody no. saw it if you absolutely no, have to remake this movie which feels sacrilegious to even remake just because of like the circumstances of making yeah. the first one if nothing else why not gender flip it to distance yourself from the original some more I can't else. believe they didn't gender flip it with we, this new yeah, one since like, they already have in the comics yeah. yeah like I think that's that's our, that's our next step it, right it, but it pushes changes. you further away from the comparison to the original if you make changes like that you know because yeah. it stands on its own a little bit more right you you think uh, if they made one uh, like Feruza Bulk as female crow like back in the day? Yeah, fucking. That'd have been all right, yeah. right? That'd have been mm -hmm. scary. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still mm -hmm. all for it. There was, there's one story, yeah. <laughs> and it's yeah. done. It just right. leave right. the fucking right. thing yeah. alone. At the end of the day, and the irony is they Don't brought it back to theaters like uh -huh. before, like a month or two ago. Uh, yeah. Do you, you think like that made more month? money than the remake? <laughs> I'd be curious it might to have. find out. Yeah, funny. Um, anyway, the week before we watched the Crow City Angels, we watched Godzilla minus one. Yeah. We had some question. Why wow. is Godzilla's uh, light up uh, radiation always blue? Mm -hmm. And uh, Darth Darth Vremus four says solar radiation from space is why. Oh, okay. That explains cool. it all. Uh, Dredgden Totalis mm -hmm. says the light from the Chen Cherenkov radiation is bright blue. Oh, that's okay. awesome. Okay, I, I did like not that. know this. And then uh, we were saying, why is he uh, pink in uh, Godzilla Kong? Yep. Godzilla X Kong. And uh, Semp Eternal 69 says he was pink because the radioactive element cesium glows pink. There you go. That's you learned cool. something new. <laughs> Thank you, science on, nerds. Uh, okay. Okay. Saturday Night Free Show. No, I appreciate that. Does that come up in the movie, or are we just saying? I this don't right remember. Now? Like, we do, we do, do we just know cesium glows pink, and we're applying that? Do I don't they know. Say that in the movie, maybe. I didn't I make it through that movie. It to find out. I know I hated it so much. Well, yeah, but I'll take it. Cesium. There you go. But he's pink. Yeah. Thank so, you for your answers. Yes. Thank you, new Threads fans. Yes. Oh, we appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna. Yeah, we hope. We, thank you for writing in, and we hope you uh, continue to. If you like what you hear, here. Now we're going to go around the table and yeah. tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Eyes of Fire, starting with... Colin, what did you think of Eyes of Fire? All right, so it is my third go-around with yeah, this movie. Is. This is the best go-around I've okay. had with the okay. movie. I think, you know, sometimes when you think back in those, like, early VHS memories, it's like the uh, quality of the, you know, the tape yep. transfer kind of, you know, it's muddy and so, I don't know. Never really followed it. Tonight, I actually, it was like, okay, I get what's going on. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah, can you explain watches, it to me? Yeah. That'd be great. If you know what's going on. I think I'd we like just, we covered it. And Holly uh, <laughs> added the piece de resistance there at the end to uh, make sense of it all. Um, oh, yeah. I followed. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> it's, which? Which? Yes, there, <laughs> seriously. Yes, finally. Yeah, it's Burn a, her. It's a very atmospheric movie, right? And mm -hmm. I uh, love this uh, kind of um, woodsy, western, colonial horror story. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of them. This one's unique, yeah. right? I mean, it's, Feels like it's it. some indie filmmaker going off and making his vision. Um, and I guess yeah, he said what he did th three more movies or two more movies. Two more. He two did more three movies, movies total. Yeah. Um, mainly a photographer. But it it was it was it was always interesting. Um, even the the folklore, like they that they were setting up the explanation for everything that's going on. The photography was really nice. Uh, the performances I thought were good. Um, it was weird, yeah. you know, oh, strange. Yeah. And I did think that it is not like a complete success. Uh, I think it's it's interesting enough that I'm going to recommend it to you. But it does really feel like there's a movie. We're missing something. Yeah, especially in that it's a, that it's about that second act. I think where we were talking about it, where it starts to get strange. It's like you know the fact that it seems like we're doing things more than once, the, the exact same mm. you know 
uh, Dalton's got to go rescue the girl who's you know been abducted. That happens like twice. Chop down a tree. Yeah. You know, it's like you're repeating the same themes again. Mm-hmm. There's situations. Mm-hmm. Um, I am curious, I guess, to see what the original crying blue sky. Yeah, because I'm assuming I am too. that's the one that actually probably makes the more narrative sense. But yeah, it may I not know in, be. I know in the credits they credit um, the orphan girl, and then you know. um, the witch is like the witch version of the orphan girl. So I think there's more story about like how she became the witch. Mm, okay. I think I think they focus more on that just based on that alone. The original one I think is closer to two hours, hundred eight minutes, I believe. Okay, oh. Okay, so you cut like 20 minutes out of it? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm curious, but I guess I'm not curious enough to spend to however, buy a 4K. Like 200 bucks to buy oh, this yeah. set. Oh, yeah. Is it only available in that set? Yeah. yeah. That set oh, must yeah. have been um, successful enough. There's I think a second so. volume coming uh, out. Yeah, for this Halloween, I uh, think the second volume of uh, All the Haunts BRs. It includes City of the Dead. Nice. Uh, which is uh, nice episode. a folk horror. That's yeah. like, yeah, that's yeah. American folk horror yeah. movie also. Mm-hmm. It feels like a British like movie. It does. It was, but it's, but but it's yeah. set in America. Mm-hmm. Um, in Massachusetts, no less. Yeah. 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 A lot of fog in that movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I guess, yeah, if you're looking for an interesting offbeat, uh, you know, a horror movie that, you know, it's not like everything else that you say, I, I would say, yeah, you got to see um, Eyes of Fire. Michaela, what did you think? You know, I don't think folklore horror is my jam. I try so hard, but it is like inaccessible to me. And I think because a lot of it is just like couched in the fear of the people. And then eventually you hope it manifests, but it doesn't always. Um, Kayla wants to live this I life, just, not watch it. No, it's just <laughs> they. I'm interested in the rituals and like the folklore, but so much of it seems to be communal living leading up to the folklore. Mm. It just doesn't interest me. <laughs> um, I guess the only thing like more recent folklore type thing I can think of that I really liked was the ritual. Which that was, was like one I of my favorite. We of like I the, love that. Movie. Yeah. That, was good. that, but that's yeah. not just folklore. It dev- devolves into a couple different types of mm-hmm. horror. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it just, I want to like it, but I just can't access it. I found this movie a little boring and a little hard to follow, even though I did like the time capsule nature of it. And I did like that. I felt like it did feel like, um, like a backwoods, like redneck American folklore story. <laughs> and I do appreciate that because how often do we see that? Like never. Like I think if we would really reach into like the grossness of America and do like Appalachian backwoods horror, it could be really scary, mm-hmm. you know? Um, but yeah, I was just kind of bored by it and not very impressed. So I'm going to pass on it. Sean, what'd you think? Uh, I'm going to go the opposite direction and say that I was never bored by this movie. <laughs> um, especially, you know, um, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting. I like the uh, uh, the idea of it. I think the um, I like the actors. Everyone's I think very watchable, especially um, Will Smith. Uh, again, I lo- yeah. love Dennis to hate Lipscomb. Him. Yeah. Dennis Lipscomb, like yeah. him, he's good. Um, I, I like the yeah, I like kind of this era. Um, it just it, it, I wonder what the budget was on this. I'm very curious. But oh, I can tell you. Oh yeah, please find it. Um, yeah, I'd love to know what the budget on this one was. Um, yeah, uh, um, the, 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 um, interesting from front to, from start to finish. Um, Budget yeah. was uh, estimated two and a half million. Okay, and it made uh, twelve million okay. in the box office. All right, all right. Um, yeah, I I I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. It's very it's interesting. Like I, again, uh, yeah. Yeah, I recommend it. That, that, that's it's something you don't see too often. I don't mm-hmm. think. Like I, I mm-hmm. you know, uh, try and describe this movie to someone. It's just like right. if they were losing me at any point, then you know, uh, muddy children started blowing up mm-hmm. uh, when you shot them. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it, it, there's moments that will just bring you back into it, and you're just like, what, what, what is it? What, what does this mean? What is happening? You know, why, why is she having visions? Why can she talk now? Um, <laughs> why are they in a tree? Why are they fighting in a tree? Uh, yeah, so many questions. Uh, again, not everything's answered, but I don't know, with a movie like this, I don't think it needs to be. Um, very interesting. Uh, very pretty to watch. Like, again, the mm-hmm. photography on this is very good. Um, the director, obviously, being a nature photographer, uh, you know, knew what he wanted and some of this stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, uh, what, what year do we say? 80? 80? 83, 84. 83? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can't pick at it too much coming from 1983, 84. From, yeah, I recommend it. I, I had a good time with it. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. Maybe I'll. I am curious about the 
other version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not enough to... Well, if you ever get I'm your hands, I was gonna say, I'll let you know. know yeah, if I ever find it somehow yeah. outside of the collection, yeah. Cry, like we'll watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry blue sky. Cry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch. I'll, I'll give that one a watch just because I would love. I'm fascinated when there's alternate versions of shit. I'm always fascinated to see mm -hmm. what the other version of mm -hmm. whatever, especially because that yeah. was the original. That right. Was the, That's that the one they made. They showed it to people, and then, and then like, he was like, like "Oh, that. I'm gonna cut it because the audience, right? Because it's too long, and I don't know if they're gonna stick with it. So maybe he was ahead of its time. Who knows? Who knows? But. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think you'll find it interesting. Give it a watch. Uh, Eyes of Fire, Holly, think mm. so. Right. So I had not seen this. Obviously, went into it um, just with the trailer and the little bit that I read about it, and I was like, "Yeah, we need to check this out." Um, it does take a while to get to the bad shit, crazy stuff. Um, so I, th I think that was, I think that's the part that lost Michaela is that it took us a long time to get there. And there were moments in this where I really wanted to be like, guys, I promise it's going to get weird because <laughs> oh, no. it takes a while <laughs> to get to there. Um, so yeah, it, it is kind of hard to sit through some of that. Um, it's not as interesting, but you know, like Colin, you were saying that it's the atmosphere that kind of pulls you in for me. That's, that's it. I love, um, like colonial America kind of mm. stuff. Like I remember in high school making my best friend watch the crucible with me and she hated me for it. <laughs> but I was like, it's so good. I love it. But it's, it's just, I love that. Is that it's my the jam. one with all the good wives and the, and the, all mm -hmm. that. The, yeah. yeah. It's with, it's, goody. Goody. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I saw Goody Proctor yeah, talking. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. All that. Yeah. yeah I fucking love the crucible. Yeah. <laughs> right. So thank good. you. Yeah, I love the good. crucible. My yep. It's good drama too. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, it's so good. And my best friend was like, why are you making me watch this? It's so good. It's good. If they want to remake the crucibles, like a major motion picture, fucking bring it. Dude, I'll watch I'm the for shit that. that. I'm so yeah. for that. We haven't had one since the '90s. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yeah, was that a I love was it. that a TV movie? No, no it was, it was theater. theater. Was Daniel Day Lewis and, and oh, right. Winona Ryder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. then it's inspired a... the Scarlet Letter yeah. with Demi Moore yeah. and, uh, and Gary Oldman. That was the horrible. The Crucible was huge. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that version of it. Yeah, oh, maybe it's, it's been a long it's time. Great, but. Yeah. Daniel Day Lewis, you should watch. Daniel Day Lewis, it's so good. No, I almost guarantee they made us watch it in school, yeah. and I'm yeah. just forgetting. It's something. so good, um, but no, like I love that. Um, I love that ambiance, that atmosphere, and I was like, you know what? It feels good to bring us into like spooky season. Mm -hmm. So that, <laughs> that was, was a good one. Yeah, so that was another reason I was like, it's time for Eyes of Fire. We need to check this out. Um, so yeah, it does take a little while to get to the weird shit, but once you get there. It's good. Like, it's just, it's, it's so bizarre. There's some weird stuff happening. You know, there's a crazy tree bog witch and it, it, there's always like stuff oozing out of her mouth and it's gross. And yeah. like the visuals are just really interesting in this movie from the cinematography to the weird negative shots and the, the crazy looking bog witch and the, the tree faces. Like there's just some really cool things to look at in this movie. Um, so yeah, it draws out a little bit at the beginning, but I was never bored mm. with it. Even when it was a little long, I was never bored. Lipscomb um, got me through anything that would be the boring right? parts. Like, he's Again, just, love to hate him. He's so Smirmy. punchable. He's just yeah. so full he's of it. He's so just, punchable. Oh, oh. Yeah. Like he's slimy. And anyway. Um, yeah, no, I, I I like it. I dig it. I think it's weird. I think it's it's cool. Um, I'm going to recommend it. Um, but I, I can see why... I can see why maybe people forgot about it before it was restored. Um, I, I did see that in some reviews. People are like, oh, finally now, like I can watch it now that it's been restored. It makes more sense to me. <laughs> like I, I get why it's like a cult following now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna recommend it. I think it's I think it's a good time. I think it's a weird, fun time. That's weird. Yeah. All right, that's mm -hmm. Eyes of Fire on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by Michaela. What are we gonna watch next week? It's spooky season. Ooh. So we're oh, going to watch Bats from bats? 1999. With yeah. Lou Diamond yes. Phillips. Yes. And Dina Meyer. Yeah. Bats. Yes. All right. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this whole thing. I have yeah. not seen it either. Well, right. it's I've never run. seen it either. All right. All right. All right. All right. Is that the poster? It's it's yeah. bats, but also looks like Stab. Yeah. 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 All right. Bats. 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 Next week Ooh, on yeah. the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.